how streetwise are you? This morning, we're taking a few minutes now to discuss ways to prevent trouble later. Lieutenant Annette Horn with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office joins me now. Good morning. Good morning. So we're talking about street sets. Let's first talk about our folks out there who like to run or walk in the mornings or even in the evenings. What are some things that they should avoid? Well, a lot of things that they should avoid is when dusk or dawn, they need to make sure there's enough light out there for them to be able to see and be seen. Unfortunately, recently we've had several pedestrians hit by vehicles and they've been wearing dark clothing. Um, go out there with bright colors on. Um, this time of year, it's really good time to buy reflective um, lights and stuff because of Halloween. So it's always a good, uh, you know, good idea to do that. Also, stay off your cell phones. And a lot of people like to listen. When I used to run, I used to like to listen to music. It's not I like the best. To do that too. Well, it's not the best thing in the world because you're not alert when you're listening to the music and you can't hear sounds around you. You hear the noise in your earbuds. So that's just a start. I would change our route because what if somebody's watching you? Right. So always change your route, run towards traffic, not with traffic, just in case, you know, you need to make sure that a car does lose control or something else might happen. You can actually see it and it doesn't sneak up behind you. So you mentioned colors, you mentioned kind of being more alert, maybe not listening to the music as much. You mentioned changing up the route. Um, if you're not running with a group, if you're not walking with a group, what are some other things that we should either avoid or maybe keep on us at all times? Well, always definitely your cell phone. Um, God forbid something would happen to you, you need to be able to get in touch with somebody. Now, if you feel like somebody may be following you, you know, you just get that instinct, right. that instinct, you know, go somewhere where it's, you know, readily available, a, you know, grocery store, gas station, if a fire station is available or one of our substations or police stations, go there. There's people there at all times. Um, take the effort because everybody has this gut instinct and if it just doesn't feel right, you need to react as soon as possible. Okay, what about our folks that are on the roads driving um, and also those folks who take public transportation? Well, once again, be alert. Um, be aware of your surroundings. If you feel like somebody may be following you, if you're in your own vehicle, change your route up. A lot of people have GPS now and they leave it in their car. Well, the bad thing is, is the bad guy's getting it now and you hit home, they and know, where, they you know where you live. So put Bibb County Sheriff's Office in there or put fire station or something like that that you know where the location is. Um, you know, keep your car windows up. Um, you know, a lot of times people will do something when you're at a traffic light. Don't park right behind the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's enough space that you can see the tires of the vehicle in front of you. So you have space to react if, God forbid, if there's a car accident or somebody's trying to approach your vehicle and get in it. Okay. Always keep your doors locked. All right. Now, we don't have too much time, but it's one last question I want to ask you. What if someone's trying to rob you? You know, a lot of times it's just best to give in. Um, sometimes, you know, a lot of people say, well, I want to fight. Well, you're going to be the best judgment of that. A lot of times the stuff that they want, they just want it and they want to leave. They don't want to harm you. It's a property crime. It's not a person crime. And they can get a lot less trouble just by doing the property crime. If they do, you know, some type of an assault or got, you know, anything else that might be even worse than that, um, they're looking at a lot more time. So a lot of people just want it. They're asking for your money. Just, you know, sometimes it's just, if it's a just wallet, give it, first, up. give it up, throw it away from you. So that way you have a chance to run the opposite direction and, and get out of the way and, and keep a good eye on what they're wearing. If there's any distinct markings, tattoos, mm -hmm. scars, or anything like that. All right. Well, thank you, Lieutenant Horn. We appreciate you being on the show. Now, you can also email the Sheriff's Office if you're interested in joining a neighborhood watch or a business watch group. The email address is on your screen, or you can call 746-9441.